You know, the American people for too long have been an irresponsible free people. And even generation to generation has it become less free. They don't recognize it. They have lost the ability of critical thought. In order to regain critical thought, all you have to do is read your constitution and then look at the laws that govern you, especially from the federal perspective. It's unconscionable to allow your freedoms to be taken away decade after decade after decade, year after year. And I'm very proud of this, by the way. My nation, the Lakota, were the first nation to militarily defeat the United States of America on the field of battle. And that resulted in the 1868 Sioux Treaty. Be that as it may, what has happened after they economically forced us into these prisoner war camps by destroying our food supply, and our, our right of passage in our own land. They confined us to these, and then they began practicing and perfecting their colonial tactics. What has happened is now America, because of the irresponsibility of your forebearers and the irresponsibility of yourselves, you are now on one huge Indian reservation. All policies all policies were bred and born and birthed on, the, on an Indian reservation and then exported to the world and now comes, comes back on the backs of the American people. You have a near perfect document. In the words of Benjamin Franklin in 1744 to a collection of colonists discussing freedom, he said to them, and I quote, if a nation to the north can form a near perfect union that has endured for centuries, why cannot we form a more perfect union? Unquote. So they're talking about the Iroquois Confederacy and that's where the Constitution comes from because in 1988, on the eve of the 200-year anniversary of uh, the Constitution. It was a unanimous thank you by the Congress of the United States. They sent in writing to the Six Nations Iroquois Confederacy, thanking them for their input into the Constitution and the formation of the United States of America. So you see, the Constitution is Indian law, and that's why I love it. You know, beginning in the 1840s, they start stripping away your freedoms by developing the corporation and a piece of paper, a piece of paper. And then in, in the 1870s, of course, during Lincoln, when they declared martial law, and even after they, they ceased civil war, martial law continued on for another three or four years when it was no need to. But in the 1870s, that's when Congress started giving the banks the right to rule. And of course, you go on to 1913 and the beginning of the 20th century, that's when they, they officially gave away the power of our economy to the banks, you know? They can print the money for us. According to our constitution, you should never allow, the people should never allow their money to be printed by someone else. Hello? So the, the history of the Indian and the history of the American have now come full circle and were intertwined in the dictatorial policies of those that control the monetary system of America. And they have done such a bad job of it that they're destroying themselves. It's ludicrous at best. Welcome to the reservation. With the reason we've become just so materially uh, minded is because Americans don't have a culture. They left their cultures behind. And you see, culture 
is about values. And if you have value, you have culture. And it's been proven from empire to empire that when you allow your human right, your individual rights to be usurped, that's when empire grows and, and could care less.